YouTube, I'm back, and this is your boy TK28, the Caribbean Gamer, bringing you a little something special, something fresh for you guys. Yes, you're looking at a Ferrari car right now, okay? However, it's not gonna be in a normal racing game like Project Cars or Drive Club. This game is called Tabletop Racing World Tour. Yes, it's a pretty damn long name. Regardless, it's fun and let me explain and show you guys why. First up, it's a Mario Kart style game where you have um, power-ups to damage your opponents and stuff like that, okay? Let's get into a little more detail. We have championships, special events, multiplayer, garage, and DLC. Let's go into garage guys. Let me give you a quick peek at the cars. Okay, in garage, we have three categories of cars, okay? Supercars are expert, street racers are pro, and we have cold classic are amateur. This is the cars that you'll be starting the game with. And guys, you have to work to get um, credits to buy each of them okay so let's start with supercars this is a ferrari in the real world but here they call it fox rari you get the idea guys um the volcano jb9 um is modeled after a ashton martin car called the db9 vanquish we have the mclaren P1, the McLaren P1 GTR that I use in Europe. This is just the street version with the exhaust up in its um, back. But here they call it Mac Handful P16. And here we have the Zonda, the Pagani Zonda. Here they call it Zunga, which they try to name them as similar to the real world cars as possible. Even the tires um, play really. There's not any name play really. In real world, it's Pirelli um, from the Italian guys, um, I think. Okay? Note to add, guys, that these cars doesn't handle like cars in Mario Kart or Crash Team Racing or Diddy Kong Racing. These handle just like you're playing Gran Turismo, Forza, uh, Project Cars, and my favorite, Drive Club. Yes. They handle very damn good, okay? Let's go to the Ferrari. Look at its stats. Um, I went and I upgraded all the stats already for you guys to save some time. But when you get the game, this is basically it. And you have to get credit to upgrade each stat from your armor, handling, acceleration, and top speed. Okay, guys? Here we have wheels, right? This is the stock wheel that you get with e Well, each car have their own stock wheel. So this is um, standard wheel. This doesn't grant you any power-ups whatsoever. Here we have drift. And if you read the description, it um, allows you to drift much better if you have a car that cannot drift at all. If you have a car that is good at drifting, it even make it drift much better. This is bling, which gives you um, 50 more coins every time you damage an opponent. Um, that's when you're doing racing, like combat racing um, and elimination style racing. Here we have um, shield, which grants you a temporary shield from opponent attacks. And um, the acid bat, um, frostbite attack that you'll see me show you in gameplay. Um, a bit later on here we have the centurion wheels 
which for those of you guys who watch the movie 300 uh anybody who know about the roman those guys with the chariot that have these stuff and the chariot that when they get close to the opponents it rips them to shred well these is the same thing and they works real fine we have the boeing which this is only allow you to jump in certain areas of the um the race to get some super coins which i'll show you guys um a bit later on and least but not last is the peace bomb rims what these does is they disarm all opponents weapons in no a matter whether they're in first place last place so you'll be the only one who will have an active weapon okay down here now we have the paint jobs each cars has four paint jobs the standard paint job and the other paint job that you have to get credits and um physically buy but i went ahead and i purchased to speed up um this process okay guys so for the supercars, the paint jobs are a bit more um, pricey. This one is um, 25,000, 35,000, and 50,000 for this one. So I'm going to equip this one and show you guys what's really going on. This one has the best designs. It's even under initial startup of the game. We have this green and the British flag to show you um ashton martin just like i said we have this one and we have oh man this one is damn sexy guys and here we have the mclaren we have um solid white um, we have the and we have the original mclaren um, flagship color here which is green and yellow and then here we have the Zonda, the Pagani Zonda. This car is fast as hell. Guys, oh, what I noticed in each categories of car, there's going to be a car that will dust you to F out. You heard me. This car, look at its stats. Look at its acceleration. This just leave me rage quitting countless time no matter what i do i just can't catch it okay and then we have the normal um zonda color this is from the zonga the um from the normal um pagani zonda r for those of you who know about cars okay and then here we have the street racers uh, pro this is a ford rally car from the 1970s and here we let's take a look at um its paint jobs we have the um dunlop and we have this one here and i normally put it um with the drift wheels because this drift ability is fantastic guys believe me here we have um a range rover uh some of you guys might say it look more like a bmw but it's look like a range rover to me and we have um we have this normal blue and white we have um this one and we have this one okay and here everybody know this damn car paul walker's nissan scale and gtr come on guys but here they call it tokyo zero and for this class the the street racers this is going to dust you the f out <laughs> believe me look at its acceleration top speed and the handling let's look at it paint jobs normally i give it the blue rims and we have the white with a dragon um decal to its side with tokyo writing we have this green with an eagle a hawk and here we have the oh my god tokyo drift design 
here we have the black widow but everybody know it's a damn porsche at heart it's a porsche guys we have this um dopey we have this black and we have this white with this design so i'm gonna leave this one on okay and then down to the amateur cult classic guys straight up Volkswagen, Volkswagen Beetle here they call it the bug rats okay and this have some pretty cool um paint jobs guys in reverse I trust and we have this nice pretty um, graffiti on the back we have this Muller black and orange snap off um, everything match right here and here we have this um, metallic blue and white okay look at even the exhaust and all look real life with the blue stain the blue flame on the back and then we have this it's called a Leviathan, but this is a, a 1970s Ford pickup truck. And this is my favorite for the amateur cold classic car, guys. Trust me, everything just seems well balanced out here. We have this blue, we have this army green from the army era, World War I, World War II era. And we have this one, oh my god, flaming classic and i normally give it the centurion rims oh guys just shredding guys here we have the rv um breaking bad we know we know we know we know and then we have the it's west smith yo you know where that tree is coming from from the 90s um we have um this one and we have this one peace love and happiness could you imagine me beating a guy and lining this um damn rv here with this paint job positive vibes <laughs> and this in the vin diesel muscle car from the fast and the furious guys this car is a monster just like how Vin Diesel used it in Fast and the Furious, this is how this car is. Look at the top speed. The man, I sweat countless times trying to catch, trying to catch this damn car. I had to use some cheap methods just to beat this car. Anyhow, let's look at his paint job. We have this true american muscle we have this um mustang um bass 380 special paint job and we have the vin diesel screaming vin diesel screaming vin diesel there are some other cars that you have to get via dlc one is a um, toyota 85 corolla one is the mini cooper john mini cooper um s one is the and the other is the bugatti veyron okay guys so um back to championships we have um seven type of racing race guys we have pure race which is this one no power ups just normal head to head racing this is the meat of the game this is um combat racing where you have your power-ups here they show you the list of power-ups that you you can um pick up throughout the game and down to the bottom is your opponents and to the right of the screen you have the super coins that i was talking about where you have to um get by um taking shortcuts and doing some kind of jump to get um some of them um the super coins 
okay guys so the bronze would give you 10,000 credits the silver 25 and the gold would give you 50 um thousand credits which you can use to help upgrade your car in a speedy process and these are the different types of races we have um, pure race once again we have combat race this is the meat of the game we have pursuit race where the touch with a car at least three quarters around the track and you only have boosts and a set um, amount of time to catch the car like here they give you 140 seconds to catch the car okay and down there is the opponent that you have to catch and we have um hot lap time trial drift and we have elimination style race okay guys at the end once you complete all these then you have the grand finale which is um a four stage race where you would win the cup for this um series and you move on to the turbo championships to finish the street races here we have special events where it's just like normal racing but they have modified it a bit to make it slightly a bit harder for example they're going to tell you to use this rv to drift and get 2,000, 200,000 drift points in 90 seconds. Look at this RV, you cannot drift in that. So that's basically why they call them um, special events. Guys, and the music is super freaking awesome. Let's take a listen. Okay. Um, the music go quite well with the game. Trust me. When you're racing and you're hitting guys, it's real freaking awesome, guys. The sound effect is awesome. My only gripe is when you're in first place, you cannot hold a second power up like you do in Mario Kart to protect yourself. In Mario Kart, you can have a, a, a green shell and then a banana peel to protect you if anybody hits you. But in this, it doesn't. You only allow one power up. That's it. Um, also, with the power ups, there's nothing like the red shell in Mario Kart. There's nothing like the blue shell in Mario Kart. And um, I'll switch to a bit of gameplay to show you guys what I'm um, um, talking about, okay? <laughs> 